Welcome, this is Bria Simons. And this is Erin Champagne. And you are now listening to Tea Talk on Glasshouse Radio on the Howard University Network. So let's just get started. First off, how are you today? I'm tired. <laughs> tired. It's the everyday college life. Honestly, how are that, you? that is, that is. Honestly, my week has just been so long. It just started. It has, right? <laughs> it just feels like there's just so much going on. But speaking of so much going on, last week was Halloween. It was. And you know, a lot of people showed out. A lot of people on campus and outside of campus showed out. So what were some like costumes that you saw that were kind of like everybody had? Like lions and cats. I was a lion, mm -hmm. but... And I saw a guy that was a lion too. And I saw girls that were like mouses and bunnies was all, like, and cats and... I saw a lot of like animations because I saw like Penny Proud and I saw Gerald Lee Arnold and I saw the girl sisters. No, that was a dope costume. I like I don't I don't I I'm glad that people are kind of like bringing back the whole nineties thing. Cause I, I like, like it too. People just people just don't have that type of mentality anymore. But speaking of which, like there were some costumes that were just an absolute no. Like like just what? An, just an absolute, I saw tell like me. I saw like maids. I saw like French maids. I saw maids. regular I maids. Like, honestly, I think that was just a little too scandalous. Maybe they were trying to get dressed for the Halloween party. No. You know, H.U. Fright Night. They but were no. trying to but no. show out. I saw a sexy nurse, you know. She was trying to do her thing. No, what thing is that exactly? You know what I mean? But, like, I just feel like it's just way too much. Like, I understand you going in for the holiday, but I think that's just way too I much. I think people just, they take Halloween as, you know, they won't be judged for that one day. Because I know Halloween, I took out my hair and I... I felt like, well, it doesn't matter how I look today. Who's going to judge? You know, it's Halloween. No, you I go outside judging. with a shower cap on, a robe, and it's Halloween. You could go say, I'm a, I'm an old lady for Halloween. I mean, yeah, but to some extent, like, look presentable. Like, don't look like you didn't put any Halloween. thought into your costume. Because a lot of people went out in lingerie. Like, do you yeah. think that's okay? Like, I don't think that's okay. Like, there's kids outside. Um, put on well, some clothes. Like, Nicki Minaj was wearing some lingerie, and she was a teacher. But, I mean... It's her body, she likes it, so why not? But you're right, it is kind of revealing to kids, but that's why you have a coat, and then when you get to the party, you take off your coat. Even with the coat. And then you turn up in your outfit. Even even with the coat. I just feel like I just feel like there's just there's a line for Halloween. So what's the line? Tell me, like, tell me, tell me, tell me. I feel like don't be so, like, you can be scandalous, you can be cute, you can be scandalous, but don't be too scandalous to the point where I gotta, like, question your lifestyle. Like, I feel like if you I You shouldn't got be question, judging on Halloween, though. Nah, I feel like there's some there's some things that, you know, you just need to, like, you need to think about. Like, that's out of line. Like, I, I saw a costume with, like, Ray Rice and his wife, and they were wearing, like, the jersey. Oh, no, that's out of line. And I saw, like, this one little boy, he had, like, a black doll in his hand. and was, like, dragging her on the floor. Like, that was supposed to be, like, Ray Rice's wife and all of that. Like, that's kind of inappropriate. That is inappropriate. Okay, so for that, like, like so you're You could be judged for that because that's inappropriate. I know, but a lot of people do take it too far. Like, the whole blackface thing. Because a lot of people did that for last Halloween as well. Mm -hmm, the crazy where they, eyes. Um, did crazy eyes. They did... Um, somebody, I saw somebody dressed up as Mike Brown on Twitter. Yeah, um, a couple ridiculous. of years ago, it was Trayvon Martin. Like, I think that is... That is the point where we got to be like, no, like... We, we don't accept that. Like, it's Halloween cool, but that's not a costume. Yeah, but I agree. I think the whole Ray Rice thing is not funny. Like, you know, it's unfortunate, but to dress up as his wife or, you know, to wear blackface, that's just, it's a regression in society because it's like, that's not funny. And to think that people think it's funny is crazy. So I think, I thought we would be, we would have progressed from that situation. And to see people dressed up as Ray Rice, dressed up as Trayvon Martin, those are like political standpoints. Those aren't, those are no longer costumes. Someone was trying to be Little Wayne, and they did blackface with Little Wayne. Like it's, and that's not even like, you know, I mean, Little Wayne is crazy, but it's like, he's just a celebrity. He's a regular black celebrity. I mean. And they even did blackface with that. And Crazy Eyes, who is like a character on Orange is the New Black. So, but if it was a black person, do you think it would have been? Because I saw, I know last Halloween, there was a little boy who dressed up as Little Wayne, but he was a little black boy, and they put, you know, some... Fake some tattoos. Fake tattoos, fake some dress. dreads, and stuff like that. And I thought it was cute. But then you see somebody else who is of a different race who are who's doing that and looking like that, and then they paint their face a certain color. Like, I feel like that's offensive. I think blackface is offensive, period. You could you could dress anybody you want on Halloween, as long as it's not, like, nothing crazy like Ebola or blackface. Besides that, do what you want. I feel like do what you want as long as it's not anything crazy that's offending people. I feel like if though somebody wants to dress in scandalous clothing and that offends you, 
Oh, well, that's just you. But like, if it offends like a like a whole race of people, such as blackface, then it's like taking it kind of far. I feel like we're just really sensitive about certain things, and certain things do cross the line. But um, in terms of like gender gender specific costumes, so like for for women, we kind of saw the scandalous nature. But for guys, it's more kind of like a playful thing. Like there's kind of like costumes to bring back the characters of like villains and heroes. You mm -hmm. know that are in Marvel or DC Comics and stuff like that. I think that is more gender specific for guys. So you feel like there's not too many like costumes that women can wear that's, that won't be sexy? I feel like when you get to a certain age, people are expecting you as a woman to be like sexy for a Halloween. Like that's not a, you know, like every other day it's like, I can't go out looking any type of way. I can't go out looking like, you know, I have no home training. But on Halloween, you better get that lingerie. You better get that bra. You better get that lace. You better, and but I just like feel like. I said, I feel like they do that because they feel like they don't, they won't be judged. But I guess people are still judging even though it's Halloween. Yeah. People are still judging, but in their head, they're thinking like, I can wear this, I can wear that, because I feel like if I do this any other day, I'm going to look crazy. You still but look crazy. But if it's crazy. Halloween, still look crazy. I'm sexy, I'm cute, it's Halloween, I'm going to be a sexy cop for Halloween. Who cares? Like, but it's Halloween. Like so that's what some people might be thinking. Like, They're thinking like, okay, it's acceptable because it's Halloween. Right? No. No. It's still not acceptable. Because you, you just can't look crazy. I, I walked outside and I was going to food corner. Went to food corner and I saw some girl in, in a bra and like a bikini bottom. And she had like lace around it. And I forgot what her costume was. But it's like, I just think that. <laughs> you didn't know what the costume like, was. I didn't know what the costume was. I just thought that she came with like an uncompleted outfit. Like I'm just like, go back to your room. It's cold outside. Put some clothes on. You're going to get pneumonia. Like, I don't understand. I don't, I just personally think that with guys, it's kind of we expect them to kind of be the villain, kind of be like a hero and stuff like that. But for girls, it's like, oh, you got to be scandalous. You got to be, you know, what you want to be like, behind closed like, doors. When it comes to Halloween, like, I feel like be respectable, I guess. Like I said, we just not going to, I just going to agree to disagree because I feel like if that's what you want to do on Halloween, do you. As long as it's not blackface or... What's that thing I said? I forgot. Ebola. Ebola. No, I saw somebody dressed up as like not, a test tube. Ebola is not funny. They were dressed up as a test tube and it said Ebola. Like, I saw something where someone was like in a box. Like, they created this big makeshift box and they were inside of it. On the outside, it said Ebola. I think that's funny. Nah. I do think that's funny. I that's mean, like you dressing up as HIV. Like, I knew no. you were going to say that. No, like, no. I don't think diseases is something that you should. How do you dress as a disease? That is true. <laughs> that is true. Like, but a lot of people, as you said, a lot of people step out of their character and step out on Halloween to be someone that they're not. A lot of people kind of change their like self-appearance. So with that being said, a person who wasn't in costume was Tiny, T.I.'s wife, Tamika. Mm -hmm. And she had done a surgery, a cosmetic surgery, to change her eye color. So originally her eye color is brown, dark right. brown. Dark brown. And now it's an icy gray. How do you feel about that? I feel like... That's ridiculous. Well, Tiny is biracial. Her mother is white. Her father is black. Her mother has brown eyes. And her father had brown eyes. And she was born with brown. You know, I'm tired of wearing contacts. They, like, itch my eye. They make my eyes dry. Let me just, you know, um, get my eyes permanently done. Right. It's not even available in the U.S., so she sought out that. She like, did. that's a deeper issue. She does not think, just about. You think it's a deep issue? I do think it's a deeper issue. I think like people don't normally just go out and get their eye color changed. Like that's not something regular. Like people go out and they get like plastic surgery. They go out, they get their butt done, their boobs, and then they get hair implants. Like that stuff is regular now. But changing your eye color, I think that's a little extreme. Like I just feel like why don't you? I don't want to say love yourself to take it that deep, but why aren't you okay with the way you look? into the sense where you have to go as far as changing your eye color. I think it's something with like a, I don't think she hates herself, but I think it's maybe something like, you know, when you grow up, people are like, oh, I always wanted to have hazel eyes. Maybe that's how some people feel. But she did that with a maybe, contact. Maybe she always wanted to have ice gray eyes and she liked the contacts. And right. she's like, I'm tired of putting these contacts in every day. Let me just, you know what, try something new. Cause that's what she said. She didn't want to try something new, but it is permanent. So it's like. But she said try something new, like it's a hair color. Yeah, like it's, it is. It is permanent, but to her, she just wanted, she said the context was itching her eyes. But she sought out, like that's my thing, she sought out, she went to a different country to get the surgery. So what does that tell her daughter? Like what does that tell, like, girls who kind of like look up to her, who loved her and escaped? Right. Well, now they're grown women, but right, people who like, who follow the show, follow family hustle, you know, idolize, you know, 
the person that she is like you know she's a real she's a ride or die chick for her husband you know she's now a business woman and stuff like that and she kind of like balances both the life of having a family life and having a business and doing everything and what's in the music industry writing and is a really talented writer so it's like a lot of people kind of like look up to her in that sense or the idea that she presents mm -hmm. so is it kind of like a self-image issue is it a love yourself issue is it a i just want to do what i want to do regardless of whatever like what type i think what do you think it i is? think for her it's a personal decision and i feel like being that she is in the media people are always going to judge whatever she does or what any celebrity does That's she could have just did anything and she's always going to be judged no matter what she does so for her it's a personal issue and i feel like even though people should raise their kids how they want to raise them the media is always going to partially raise your kids for you mm -hmm. And I don't feel like we should put it on her where kids are going to leave by her example and start changing their eye color. It might happen. It might not. If it continues and other celebrities keep doing it, like if she, because some people think like she's like, you know, pioneering some type of path and journey. If she does and other people start following her footsteps, then we may have a bigger problem on our hands, you know. But I feel like right now, first of all, her daughter was with her. So, she got it done? yeah, her daughter went to Africa with her. That's one. I mean, and I think, a good trip. I and I know. think her daughter, I don't think her daughter looks at her any type of way. I mm -hmm. think her daughter probably sees like, you know, she she loves herself and she just wants to change something. Is it bad that you want to change something? I mean, I I mean, I don't think it's bad to the sense that you want to change something, but I do think like I I don't want to keep talking about this line, but I just feel like that's really extreme. Like personally, I wouldn't do that. Like, I, I just feel like that would just I want to change my color. That would just mess up like everything that's happening in my eyes like I just feel like that would just throw everything off but you did bring up a really interesting point that we got to address when we come back like about media the the image that media puts out into the world and what it does to kids and in terms of like self-image and in terms of you know how you perceive yourself and this segment we talked about Halloween costumes you know we talked about scandalous wear we talked about Tiny changing her eye color we talked about a lot of things and I think it's important, like you said, we have to come back to the topic of self-image and how the media might be raising our children for us. And, you know, the change of it in appearance has kind of, like, reached new limits. I, it just, it's crazy to figure out, like, where it will be in, in the like, 20 years, 10 years, 5 years, right? Right. So, stay tuned for much more. I'm Ernie Champagne. And I'm Bria Simon. And you are now listening to Tea Talk on the Glasshouse Radio, part of Howard University Radio Network. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.